Hello movie fans, my name's George and welcome to Jam Punch. So many have requested this episode of Up to Speed, so I want to thank Uckers Demon, Cool Guy 111, The Future Legend Zero and Frostybot because we are summarising The Bourne Ultimatum. Following his pursuit by Kirill, Jason Bourne evades Moscow police while wounded and deals with even more flashbacks of when he first joined Operation Treadstone. Six weeks later, CIA Deputy Director Pamela Landy divulges the audio-taped confession of Ward Abbott, the late former head of Treadstone, to Director Ezra Kramer. Meanwhile, in Turin, journalist Simon Ross of The Guardian newspaper meets an informant to learn about Bourne and Operation Blackbriar, the program succeeding Treadstone. The CIA tracks Ross as he returns to London after his mention of Blackbriar during a cell phone call to his editor is detected by the Echelon system. Bourne reappears in Paris to inform Martin Krutz, the stepbrother of his former girlfriend Marie Helena Krutz, of her assassination in India, also in the previous film. Bourne reads Ross's articles and arranges a meeting with him at London Waterloo Station. Bourne realises that the CIA is following Ross and helps him evade capture for a while, but when Ross panics and ignores Bourne's instructions, Blackbriar assassin Paz shoots him dead in the middle of the busy station on orders of Deputy Director Noah Vosen. Vosen's team, reluctantly assisted by Landy, analyses Ross's notes and identifies his source as Neil Daniels, a CIA station chief involved with Treadstone and Blackbriar. Bourne makes his way to Daniels' office in Madrid but finds it empty. He incapacitates gunmen sent by Vosen and Landy. Nicky Parsons, a former Treadstone technician who shares a history with Bourne, tells him that Daniels has fled to Tangier and aids his escape from an arriving CIA unit. Parsons learns that Blackbriar asset Desh Buksani has been tasked with killing Daniels. Vosen sees that Parsons accessed information about Daniels and sends Buksani after Parsons and Bourne as well, a decision with which Landy fiercely disagrees. Bourne follows Buksani to Daniels but fails to prevent Daniels' death by a planted bomb. However, Bourne manages to kill Buksani before he can kill Parsons. After sending Parsons into hiding, Bourne examines the contents of Daniels' briefcase and finds the address of the deep cover CIA bureau in New York City, where Vosen directs Blackbriar. Bourne travels to New York. Landy receives a phone call from Bourne, which is intercepted by Vosen. When Landy tells him that his real name is David Webb and gives him the birth date 4 15 71, Bourne tells Landy to get some rest because she looks tired, tipping off his presence in New York. Vosen intercepts a text to Landy from Bourne, apparently of a location to meet up and leaves his office with a whole team. Bourne, however, waits for them all to leave, enters Vosen's office and takes classified Blackbriar documents. Realising that he has been tricked, Vosen sends Paz after Bourne, resulting in Paz forcing Bourne's car to crash into a concrete barrier. Bourne holds Paz at gunpoint but spares his life. Bourne arrives at a hospital at 415 East 71st Street, having figured out Landy's coded message. Outside, Bourne meets Landy and gives her the Blackbriar files before going inside. Vosen also figures out Landy's code and warns Dr. Albert Hirsch, who ran Treadstone's behaviour modification programme, that Bourne is coming. He follows Landy inside the building but is too late to stop her from faxing the Blackbriar documents out. Meanwhile, Bourne confronts Hirsch on an upper floor and remembers that he volunteered for Treadstone. As Bourne flees to the roof, he is confronted by Paz, who asks, why didn't you take the shot? Bourne repeats the dying words of the professor in The Bourne Identity. Look at us. Look at what they make you give. Paz lowers his gun, but Vosen appears and shoots Bourne as he jumps into the East River. Sometime later, Parsons watches a news broadcast about the exposure of Operation Blackbriar, the arrest of Hirsch and Vosen, a criminal investigation against Kramer, and the whereabouts of David Webb, aka Jason Bourne. Upon hearing that his body has not been found after a three-day search of the river, Parsons smiles while Bourne is shown swimming away in the East River. Thanks for watching that, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Up to Speed. Remember, if you haven't got up to speed on the previous Bourne films, then just click here. Subscribe for more Jam Punch as we release new videos every Thursday, and we'll see you next week.